all mic'd up over here. We're at the Buford campus. There's Heath. We're getting ready to do a spot for the Behind the Curtain SSTI docu-series we're filming this summer. It is week two over at the other campus, but I'm here in Beaufort where it is the first opening days of SSTI Essentials Session 2. We've got professors from some of the top musical theater programs in the country here to work on our students' college auditions and their technique over the course of the next two weeks. Session two is going well. It's a little bit different because this session we don't have as many students as we had last session. It's 12 students this time, which is awesome because they actually have like super, super, super individualized time with the professors. I mean, last session they did two because it was like six to one ratio. This is a four to one ratio, which is like, you will never see that. I mean, in college, like they don't even have that kind of ratio in college. We've been working with monologues and doing fun stuff with like improv and like just getting on our feet and just taking risks and not being like afraid of what's gonna happen. And then for dance, um, just trying something new, working on technique and then like acting through dance is really important, especially in musical theater. And then for singing, just really not only working on the vocals, but also acting through singing. We focus on like, doing the song like a monologue so that it's more of a story that you're telling and so you're a storyteller. Um, and then the technique, once it's driven into you, it kind of follows as you're telling the story. I really like working with the professors. They give really constructive criticism, um, which is really awesome because that's, I feel like most people thrive on that. Another fun thing about Essentials is every single session it's different. So. In this session, we get Alexander. He music directed Music Man, and he works at Pace University. I think the biggest difference is like this is a lot more about teaching what musical theater and acting through song is. And then being at Hilton Head and music directing, it's really about the show, but still learning craft in doing a production. So what we're focusing on now is like an individual song and what is it to craft process for that. I love mistakes here because mistakes lead to like new information and new ideas. Sometimes it's hard to have mistakes when you're doing a production because you're so focused on the show. Um, but it, it's, it's a lot of fun and I think, you know, I believe I'm a lifelong learner and I still learn from my students and I think that is like a really collaborative process that we get to have here. So we have a group class because we think it's really important for like everyone to kind of come together. And it's community space, it's shared space. And what we've been really focusing on is what is it like to rehearse an ensemble? Or what is it like to focus on like listening from each other and learning from each other? And, um, and it's been really fun. I mean, I think it's new for, for the, my colleagues and the students as well, but I don't think it's any less important in the process. It's the same things that we work on in music with the technique and with the storytelling just through an ensemble. So that's really nice to be able to work with others and um, tell that story with other people. So it's really fun to get together and like harmonize with each other, like blend your voices together and just act together, be together. It's really fun. We also have the wonderful Hank Stratton, who is head of the acting program at Arizona. And then of course we've got Tony nominee, Jane Lanier, who is just seasoned up and down Broadway. So it's fun for me to be over here on the Essentials campus and seeing not only the different group of students, but the different group of professors and how they take each different tactic and approach to how they're filling their class time with the students, prepping them for their college auditions and getting their technique ready to be at a place to really, really be competitive. I'm about to get in the car here to go sprint over to the other campus where they are excitedly starting the designer run. Yeah, so since Matt had to leave for a little while, I'm now the production manager, which is really cool. And mostly that means that I'm in charge of scheduling and making sure everyone has their days off right and that we're sharing the space appropriately so all departments have what they need in the theater all the time. Um, also like ordering refills for the shop and stuff like that and leading production meetings. It's like a whole bunch of things. This show, it's huge and it's all white and it's a lot of flats. So what we did for the first few weeks was we built flats and built flats and built flats um, so that we have space to build more flats. And now what we're doing is starting to install all those flats and assemble them and get them flying, um, which has been a really big challenge. Lots of people have been coming in to help out. Ben did a whole lot of work 
Kate and Allison came and helped, which was super fun. Um, and it's really great to have like the whole company coming together to help build the set. And it's been really, really rewarding as her former teacher and now friend and colleague to see Madison thriving in this new leadership position, which I don't think when she first stepped into our doors as a rising freshman in high school, she ever could have imagined this would be where she'd be and what she'd be doing. I love Madison. Madison, great. <laughs> um, we joked last year that we were clones of each other because we have a lot of similar interests. So this is my second year here at SSTI. Last year, I just did tech, but this year, I'm also an actor. I'm playing Henry Ford, which is a relatively small role, but I'm still in and out of rehearsals a decent amount. So I'm basically in rehearsals whenever I'm needed and then helping in the shop when I'm not needed on stage. It's, it's nice to do both because I love both so much and whenever I do one, I'm like, oh, I miss the other. So now I'm being able to do both and at the same time. This is my sixth year, the sixth summer at SSTI. I started in college as a performing mentor, which um, we actually have again this year, but haven't for a while. It's when a professional actor will come in and fill some of the roles in the show and um, be kind of an example in the room. And then from there I went to associate direction and choreography with one Mr. Joe Barros. Joe and I have worked together for, what, like two or three years now? Um, and I feel like I live inside his brain, so <laughs> I, I love working in the room with him. I'll say something, then Peter will say something, and then mm -hmm. that'll spark an idea from me, and then I'll say, oh, tomorrow we are going to get to run act one. It's exciting, it's also scary, but what's been so thrilling and so rewarding is looking at the work that I've been creating with a choreographer, Bakari, and Peter. Normally I would be uh, moving forward and looking in the back and saying, oh, I wonder what they're doing um, back at SSTI. Now I don't have to look in the rearview mirror. I get to be a part of that action. I hold the juniors up to the same standard as the, um, the high school. And I have also worked with a lot of students here in this, this cast when they were in juniors. And then to see it come to fruition and to see it cultivate um, with the other students that have been in the program for many, many years and how they're still taking the things that I taught them in juniors and elaborating uh, uh, on them in the SSTI main stage shows. So I love this show so much. And as an African-American man, it has a wonderfully strong, rich character by the name of Cole House. And um, as an actor myself and a performer, I wanted to pursue playing that role. Yeah, so Cole House represents like the African-American community in this show, and he's a famous musician who is a wonderful pianist. And um, as far as like his role in the show, he wants to get back with his lover, Sarah. And this show is about that journey and what that process is like of being black in America and wanting to bring a better life for your lover and also your children, you know? Um, so it's been a journey to represent that. <laughs> It has been wonderful. I was very scared because this was a new process for me, but with behind the thorough research that all of them have done, like I've never been pushed so far to go so deep in lyrics and text and dialogue. And I think that it really shows how much they care about it and like how much thought has went into the show. And like even having Bakari, who's played Cole House multiple times there as this sort of mentor to come to like for tips and stuff, it's been really helpful and everyone has just been really great. I really loved when we ran the um, last act one number. It was such an emotional point uh, for all of us and even me as an actor, I'd never like reached that peak. So it was a beautiful day. Taking on this role is emotionally draining a lot, but in a good way. I think it's definitely a show that needs to be done and needs to be addressed and it's been handled very beautifully. And it's not about all that's happening on stage, but also what's happening off stage. Um, having discussions, being open and honest with one another. Um, and having hard conversations. Not, I mean, it's not just your run of the mill, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a show, um, and you may have to deal with the conflict of the protagonist or the uh, uh, antagonist, I guess, of the show. This has a lot more uh, things that we are going through in our society now um, and have seen over um, history. And so 
to for these students to take that on it's been amazing and also how open and honest they have been with each other and with us time is always the challenge with tech week just making sure there's enough time to actually finish all of the projects that we want to have in our dream show i feel pretty prepared i think um of course we're still finalizing some numbers, which I mean, it's a it's a really big show. Mm -hmm. But with how we're managing, like how we're gonna separate when we learn those numbers and putting those together, it'll come together beautifully. I do believe that. So that's I have faith. And I cannot wait for audience to see um, the story that we've created in the in, on the stage with the costumes and the movement and the singing. It's going to be transformative for everyone involved. <laughs>